Welcome back, brothers and sisters. I am Braden. This is Langley Outdoors Academy, and thank you for stopping by. All right, guys, today we are going to talk about China. I know, it's a little off topic, but it ties directly into gun control because that's what CNN did. This article is from CNN. It's in the description box below. But this is really important because we're going to touch on the fact that China is exhibiting the exact same social problems that we are, but the tool is different. Now, CNN tries to touch on the fact that China is exhibiting mass stabbing events, but they try to tie it back and point it to American problems. They're still trying to get their gun control narrative in there, but they're focusing on the Chinese stabbing. It's really interesting because this article conflicts itself multiple times, but they always try to force that narrative. So here we go. We're about to dive right in. Like I said, it's in the description box below. As America struggles with gun violence, China faces its own public safety threat, mass stabbings. Now, you guys know that is a loaded article title, but I'm just going to walk through it if you're new. This is what the left does. As America struggles with gun violence, oh, this is an American article about American problems. China faces its own public safety threat, mass stabbings. Well, why, why was the America part even important there? Because they're introducing their narrative, and here we go. As the United States routinely faces the tragedy of mass shootings, China is struggling to put an end to its own threat to public safety, indiscriminate stabbings. Wow! So the same problems are occurring, but the tools are different. It's almost like there's some similarities here, and it has nothing to do with the tools and choices used, more so about the mental health and the poor decisions of the individuals. We've seen the same thing in London, seen the same thing in Russia, and seen, now we're seeing the same thing in China, all of which have very strict gun laws. It's really weird how the same things happen, but tools are different. But let's keep going and watch how CNN tries to frame this. Over the weekend, six people were killed and 14 injured after a knife-wielding man stabbed passersby on a pedestrian shopping street in the eastern Chinese city of Anguin. Videos circulated on social media show wounded pedestrians lying on the pavement covered in blood. Six dead? 14 wounded? Okay, first of all, who's not running away from these people? But anyway, I digress. My point is, if you look at these reports and you would say in America and you use that filter of what we've seen in America, these are almost read really exactly the same. But here we go. Police quickly arrived at the scene and arrested the suspect, a 25-year-old unemployed man who was seeking to vent anger over family troubles and pessimism, according to a local government statement. Family troubles and pessimism? That sounds very much like depression and mental health issues that we see here. Again, the tool is different. In fact, interesting little note, the age range is the same. Weird. Just saying. All right, here we go. The incident is the latest among a spate of public attacks in China in recent months. With guns strictly controlled and out of reach for ordinary people, knives have become the most common weapon used in such atrocities. Now, this is where they start to go into the common sense on accident from CNN. Guns are banned. They still, these mass stabbings and mass violent events still occur, but they're banned. Now, why would they still occur? And they actually touch on it because knives are the most common weapon available or tool available, and they don't know how to handle it. But they send it back into the gun world in one second, and this is where they get really twisted. These incidents have stood out in China, which boasts a powerful and ubiquitous surveillance system and comparatively low rates of violent crime, except mass stabbings. <laughs> no big deal, whatever. And here's what, happened, what has happened this year, and then we'll tie it back together. In April, two children were killed when a knife-wielding man entered a kindergarten in southern China. An additional 14 children and two teachers were wounded, according to state news. In December... Another mass stabbing in a small city in nor northeastern Liaoning province left seven people dead and another seven injured. State media reported the 62-year-old suspect was socially withdrawn after losing his son and getting divorced and carried out the attack to express his dissatisfaction towards society. Okay, it's a bit much. But now, here's where you can cue the narrative, and this is where it's important to recognize it. This is a big thing you got to recognize, right? And unlike the U.S., gun violence is rare in China, where the regulation of firearms is among the strictest in the world. Chinese law generally prohibits private possession of firearms except for hunters with permits, and the Chinese government has stepped up its policing of illegal firearms in recent years. Well, that's interesting because Russia is the exact same way. London is the exact same way, but they're seeing the same instances. 
but this author tried to insert United States gun violence into these same things, but they tried to dance a little little dance of, but they're different, even though they exhibit the same symptoms, but they're different, right? They, they don't know what to do. And here is where they go back to the other side of the spectrum and they don't know how to handle this. But while China's strict control on guns has sharply reduced the number of casualties in public attacks, it has seemingly failed to address the root causes that repeatedly trigger these types of tragedies. CNN is talking about root cause analysis for what could possibly be causing these things because guns don't exist in China, but they still have the issues. Root cause analysis, which is what they just hit on, is not being addressed. It's only slipping through the system. That's the point. The point we have as a human species, as a human race, is we have a problem of the heart. We have a problem of the tool used based off of the issues of the heart. This is not a gun issue. This is not a car issue. This is not a pipe issue. Anything that you can use to create negative out, um, impact on someone else is a direct manifestation of what you are, not the tool itself. And that is where the Second Amendment argument is so powerful and we have to keep reinforcing. Everyday Americans like you and I are not the ones causing these problems. They're people across the entire planet who are having mental issues, who are having access to weapons, whether they are knives, guns, cars, or anything, all things that have happened this year and causing harm because they are seriously wrong up here, not what's in their hand. And that's what I've got for you today. Let me know what you guys think in the comments field below. And until tomorrow, I'm Braden. See you later.